In this video, I will show you how to create fully automatic invoice in Excel. So guys, if you want to create invoice bill in Excel, so follow this method. Firstly, click, uh, firstly click page layout. Now, click on normal. So you can see till J, we have this page layout. So once you try to print, so this area will be printed in one page. Now we will increase the size till J. Now select here five column and merge and center type your company name Similarly, select second line, merge and center. And type your address. Now select this third line, merge and center and type here invoice. Now in this uh, first cell, serial number. Particulars Red Quantity and Amount Now adjust the size. Now here you can make some changes change color this text bold center select Now, outside border, so all border, like this. You make some more size for this one. Firstly, select this old. And make changes like uh, 14 size and invoice. Make some bigger. And now again adjust the size. Like this. Now you can increase the size for particulars 
So, make like this. Now select this one. Now, now click here and insert same insert more now here no color now here bill number at proper size and make uh, size 14 that your name contact number increase more insert more row and address now select this line and inside color like this now select this uh, row and background color like uh, this color now select this two one and merge and center and now select this line and make here outside border same outside border and in this uh, all border now select this area till you need and make outside border similarly here outside border and this one all border Now select here and select outside border. Now here guys you have to select these four and merge and center. Now here select two cell and merge and center. Type here total amount. Now type here GST
and gland total. Now select and mold and change size. Now select it and border. Now here again select all border. And GST can be like 9%. or SGST and CGST. Now here guys you should merge and type here signature. Similarly select top side and merge. Now press and hold shift and minus sign. Make it bold and change the size. Like this. So our format is ready. Now to make it automatic. You have to use some formula. So now you have to create a new sheet. Type your product. Type your product like shirt. Browser. Pent. So type here your product and here type rate. So we can see now we have this list for product and rate. Now in particular selected data. Now click on this drop down. Click on data validation. Allow to select list in source. So select here this sheet and select this product then press enter now here click on ok so we can see now this drop down you can select any product from this list now apply this setting to all so drag and drop And you can change from here. Now to make uh, red automatically, type here equal sign. Then we look up. Double click on it. And here we can see the lookup value. So select it. Now comma. Now we need table array, so open and select your table. Now function key and F4. Now here we need column index, so we have two column 
and red is in second column. So, comma, two, comma, and zero. And press enter. Now select it and drag and drop like this. Now once you change any product, so rate will automatically change like this. Now one formula you have to more apply, double click on it and here type if error select it and in the last comma double quotation mark closing bracket and press enter. Now again drag and drop on this to all. Now click on amount equal sign. Now select red, multiply symbol, and select quantity, then press enter. Now drag and drop. Now you can try add some quantity. And you see the result here. Similarly, double click here and after equal sign, type the if error, select it, and in the last closing bracket, now remove this closing and before closing bracket, comma, double quotation mark. Then press enter. Now drag and drop to this formula to all. So if you don't have any value, so you will see nothing to appear here. No error. Like this. And once you select, so you will see this setting and formula will apply. And here, guys, you can enter the serial number like one, two, three. Now, here, total amount. So, select it and in the home tab, select this auto sum. So make sure it's selected this whole column from here and select manually also then press enter so equal sign select this total amount sell this one multiply nine percent press enter Similarly, equal sign, total amount, multiply, 9%, press enter. Now to find out grand total, so equal sign, plus total amount, SGST plus CGST and enter so this is the invoice is ready you can fill and you can print it you don't see here the line select it and bottom border 
Now select it and make it complete to finish. Now your invoice is ready. You can print it easily. Just click on print. So bill number. Date. Name. Contact number. And address. And the product. And we have this result. If you change any amount, so it will reflect here and print it. Once you want to create a new invoice, so and guys, if you want to send this invoice, so file. And save as and here save as type select PDF and save it and send like this. Also, you can make this all in the center. Now guys, you want to use this invoice for new customer. So you need to delete this old data. So if you want to delete this all in just one click. So you have to use macros, file and options. And here, in customize ribbon, uh, select you have here you have to select this developer tab so check this box and click on ok now click on developer and click on record macros give name for your macros like delete data and shortcut key so i want to make shift Control Shift K K. Control Shift K. You can create your own shortcut. Then click on OK. Now delete this data one by one. Like bill number, date, name, contact, address, serial number, particulars rate, quantity, amount, now stop recording, now we have some data and you want to delete this all and you want to delete this all data so control shift k so in just one click you can delete this old data and this is ready for new customer so thanks for watching this is the way guys you can create invoice in microsoft excel share like and subscribe to this channel